Hi, I'm Abigail and I'm from T-Lab, the Teen Library Advisory Board. Today we're going to be making one of my favorite projects, collaged composition books. This is one of my favorite DIYs because I love using these notebooks for creative writing and journaling, but you can use them for whatever you like. And remember, everything that I do in this video is just some inspiration, but this is your creative space, so you can decorate your journals however you like. And with that, let's get crafting. Here are a few ideas of materials you can use to make your collage. I primarily make magazine collages, but you can also incorporate newspaper, construction paper, photos, prints, patterned paper, stamps, stickers, and hand-drawn designs in pen, pencil, or marker. Be sure to grab scissors and a glue stick. I like to start by thumbing through a stack of magazines for ideas. Cut out any image you find artistic, powerful, or interesting. You can either cut precisely along the edge of the design, like this, or you can use a bubble cut, leaving some of the background and cutting roughly in the shape of the central image. If you find images you love that don't make it into your final collage, store them in a large folder like this one. You can use them in a future project. Try to use a range of shapes and sizes to give your collage texture. I usually pick a theme for my collages, like a word, a color, a shape, or a season. For example, the theme of this collage was circles. And for this one, the theme was pink. On this composition book, I only used words in a variety of fonts. This collage was inspired by the sky. All of the pictures and text came from the same real estate catalog. For the collage in this video, I wanted to capture the feeling of a garden in summertime with lots of fruit and flowers. At this step, you can plan your layout. Do you want the collage to be sparse? Do you want a lot of images packed together? Do you want the front and back cover to look the same or different? Remember, this is your creative space. There are no wrong answers. Don't glue anything down until you know where everything goes. Sometimes it helps to start your collage with a base. For mine, I used sheet music from a trombone sonata. Start to glue things down, layer by layer. Fold collage elements over the corner of your cover and trim off any excess paper for a perfect fit. For my back, the base was a little different. I covered the entire cover with flowers. Before you remove everything to start gluing, I recommend taking a picture of your final layout so you remember where everything goes. I printed out another copy of my sheet music for this rectangle, then covered it with a smaller rectangle of purple construction paper and added smaller magazine elements. I love poetry, so I selected a single stanza by Emily Dickinson to add to my collage. A something in a summer's noon 
an azure depth, a wordless tune, transcending ecstasy. I typed up the poem with generous spacing between lines, cut each line out individually, and glued them onto my construction paper panel. Here's a fun optional step that gives the collage a clean finish. Using washi tape, add a border along the edge of the cover. Trim off the tape and tuck in the ends, like this. When your collage is finished, cover both sides of the composition book with parallel strips of clear masking tape. I recommend asking someone else to help you with this step. Make sure the strips of tape overlap slightly so there aren't any gaps. Be careful! Once you press down the tape, don't move it around or you will damage your project. Laminating the cover will protect your artwork, keep your collage from shifting around, and give the final product a smooth, glossy finish. Trim excess tape off the corners and fold down anything that goes over the edge. I hope you enjoyed this DIY video. Be sure to keep checking our YouTube page for more videos in the coming weeks. My friend Rachel will be filming a second part to this video where she'll walk you through making a back to school journal. Be sure to follow us on social media at Palo Alto Library and at Palo Alto T Lab. Thanks so much for watching and happy journaling.